Hey, what's going on guys? Let me you here, bringing you another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And today we're going to be checking out all the new cards we're going to Dokkan Awaken them and see just how good they are, how we're going to run them on teams. So, let's go ahead and get to the best of the best. So, we're going to Dokkan Awaken. Um, oh, that's not what I want. Dokkan Awaken. Awaken. So, let's go ahead and start checking out some stuff. So, Trunks right here. So, Trunks we can Doke and Awaken. Normally, he causes supreme damage to the enemy, lowers defense, attack plus 80% when performing super attack. So, Trunks is pretty damn cool, but if we Doke and Awaken him, which I'm not going to because I don't have enough metals, uh, let's check him out. So, causes supreme damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense now, leader ability, tech, and SCR type key plus 2, uh, HP attack defense plus 30%. That's actually pretty good. And then passive. Attack plus 100%. When performing a super attack, he's very strong. Has all these links. Goes very well on a Super Saiyan 4 Goku team. So, let's go ahead and look at uh, uh, Baby Vegeta. So, Baby Vegeta, where are you at? Aha. So, we normally know what he does, but what happens if we Doken Awaken him, which I'm saving those medals for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, causes supreme damage uh, to the enemy and lowers attack. So he can lower attack, which is good for his revenge death ball. Nuker uh, type intelligence plus 33% per intelligence orb. And now it's passive, gets bust, uh, boosted up to blood waves of hazard attack plus 100% when HP is 30% 30% or above, and may turn into a grade 8. I actually never seen him turn into a grade 8, but I've never used this card. So, maybe I'm going to put him on my intelligence team and try to run him as a grade 8. So, yeah. But now, let's go ahead and, um, Doken Awaken. Man, I'm, like, tired today. I can't, like, think straight. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta acquired. There we go. 77 medals. Let's go and Doken Awaken him. Seventy-seven medals. I need to finish farming medals. I was trying to do my best last time on stream, but it's just so many Vegeta medals to farm. All right. Sweet. So now let's go ahead and look at uh, Pan. We can do so. Pan. Normally, Pan is attack and defense plus twenty percent. Okay. Pan. Let's check her out. Pan. Okay, agility type, uh, um, agility and physical type, key plus 2, HP attack defense plus 30%. Cause supreme damage to the enemy, attack plus 25% for an ally. Okay, what got boosted? Okay, so the, the, the passive got boosted, attack defense plus 30% for all allies. Okay, so not bad, Pan. Did I max super attack? I did. Okay, I was feeding her a bunch of SRs. So that's how I maxed her super attack. Doken Awaken. And then we got the, um, aha. Where's the other one at? You. Alright, this is Goku. So, SCR, so when you Doken Awaken, Nuker Leader, uh, for SCR types, plus 33% per SCR orb, uh, causes supreme damage to the enemy, uh, and raises attack for three turns. And so, and attack plus 30% for allies. 33%, that's a big boost. What I love about him is he has the Saiyan, okay, so he has first battle, attack of, uh, um, Saiyan Roar, which is attack plus 25%, which goes very, very good when linking with Super Saiyan 4s. Uh, GT Link, he has, uh, over the flash, a breaking form. So, Command Man, Super Saiyan, so, he has, he literally has the best, links with Super Saiyan 4. So you want to put him on the same exact team as Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And he just becomes extremely, extremely good. Alright. Now let's go ahead and... Oop. God dang it. I keep pushing the wrong button. Now Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm going to check out the Super Saiyan 4s right now and show why they're so freaking good now. Because they are actually really amazing. Uh, especially now. Don't go to Awaken. 
So let's check them out. Now, level one Vegeta. So, uh, leader ability is insane. We all know about his leader ability. Uh, File Shine causes immense damage to enemy. Great lowers defense. So he's a wall breaker. That's good. Attack and defense plus 120% medium chance of evading enemies. Super attack and countering with tremendous power. So, yes. Vegeta, amazing. Now, Goku. Causes immense damage. Uh, and defense plus 30% for 6 turns. Stacks even when the uh, phases change in battle. So that's really good. We already know his leader ability. And Warrior of the Galaxy. Attack plus 150%. Medium chance of uh, evading enemies. Okay, yeah. We already know about that. He has all the best links. Now, let's look at There's two more stuff we can Dokken Awaken. Uh, which, it is this thing. So we don't need a Dokken Awaken. I'm, we already talked about this. Oh, no, no. There is two more things we can Dokken Awaken. I take that back. So there is... There's two physical ones we can Dogen Awaken. So, um, where are you? Let me, hold on, let me, let me pull him up. <laughs> yes, it is this kid, Goku. He does Dogen Awaken now. So, let's go ahead and Dogen Awaken him with these two medals. Awesome! Alright, actually, let me, let's go check it out. I should have checked it out. So, he does Dogen Awaken now. Uh, leader ability, plus 50%. Cause extreme, extreme damage now. Does he have additional stuff? Okay, yeah. Launch super attack at 8 key. And attack is 40%. The only useful thing about, oop, the only useful thing about him is this free ultra rare. And, um... You're going to use this for the boss rabbit. So, I'm going to have this for the boss rabbit. That's all I'm using them for. Okay, and there's one more we're going to do. Don't forget, guys. This one does Doken as well. 35 Gotenks medals to Doken Awaken this beast. So. I really like this one. It's going to go very well on a physical team. <clears throat> oh, yeah. His art's pretty badass check him out let's check him out so where'd he go now where'd he go aha so cost 42 all types key plus three hope i wish they gave him a, like a passive like a nuclear leader passive but it's all right causes supreme damage enemy and seals and attack plus 100 when performing super attack he's extremely solid now he has first battle goes very well on a fusion team if you need a sealer he's your sealer for the fusion team so that's it now let's go look up uh, team setups. So team setups I got right here, um, obviously is going to be like similar like this, but we can do different setups for if you're going to run Vegeta uh, leader. So let's go ahead and try to build a team around that. So an interesting team setup you can do is this for super types. So this works very well for agility types. Um, you definitely take other other idea other uh, allies with you to run this. That uh, works perfectly fine. So, but, yeah. I mean, this is an interesting setup because I liked having a few GT characters on this team to link very well with uh, Super Saiyan uh, 4 Vegeta. And, obviously, Super Vegeta is always solid on this team and just always just really good characters. So, yeah. But now let's look at uh, STR type uh, team we can do now. Be real one second. Now, one of the best STR teams you can run for super types is going to be this setup right here. You got this. Uh, obviously, the Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku links perfectly with Super Saiyan 3, I mean Super Saiyan 4 Goku right there. I got Vegeta in there for defense. Gogeta just does massive damage to everybody. That Gohan is insane. And Trunks, because he's just absolutely really good once you don't wake him. So yeah, that's what you're going to do. So, but now let's look at the, uh, what other ones we have? We have other cards we can, uh, rotate into here. So, let's look at physicals. And another setup we can do with physicals, if you're running with old, uh, God Leader teams, uh, the, the old, I meant to say old Broly, not old God Leader teams. The old God Leader teams still work, work very well. You can run this setup right here. I like this setup a lot. <clears throat> so, Pans, because she's just helping the team a lot with boosting of the defense and stuff, and, um, Gotenks because he can seal. So yes, and he's just really good. Gotenks is super, super good. So, yeah. That's going to be it, guys. That's going to be it for the video. Uh, let me change this up. What the hell? But, uh, oh yeah. I'm, oh, actually, I'm not done. Sorry. 
So if you want to do the other way, the other way, if you want the absolute best STR team, you can run this team right here. Uh, <laughs> uh, a mixture of STRs and uh, a mixture of, I'm sorry, uh, STR extreme types and uh, and uh, extreme types, super types. So Broly leader with the, the, the LR Broly leader with the LR Broly TUR version of him. So the Super Saiyan 1. Gogeta for all the heavy hitting uh, on the side. Plus you got uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta for defense. And then obviously uh, GT, uh, the GT Super Saiyan 3 Goku and GT uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And this team stomps. This team stomps. <laughs> like a lot. Once I level these guys up. Which I need to level these guys up. The level 1 Goku is already stronger than almost as strong as that broly it's just like absolutely insane and then we go over here vegeta is just as strong he's just insanity he's stronger than cow can goku at level one which this is the one of the best setups for a agility types team right here and yes i do have super saiyan 3 goku on this team because it links very well with maj vegeta and um and um what do you call it Maj Vegeta and Kaokan Goku. Now, probably there'd be a better link because what link does he have? Does he have shocking speed? No, he doesn't have that. Unfortunately, Vegeta suffers with like shitty key links and he doesn't have, um, what do you call it? Uh, fierce battle. But, anyways, guys, that's for sure it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe if you're new here, and yep, catch you on the next video. See ya.